Next exercise, so the next exercise we have is the 90-90 dumbbell rotation work, similar to what we did in standing, except this time we're gonna lie down and put ourselves in a supine position, which means on your back. Now you can do this on a bench. Worst case scenario, you can do it on the floor, but it is nice to be slightly elevated, as you'll see. Similar benefits to the standing up version, but the force is quite different. So we get it again into that 90-90 position, and then we rotate, keeping the elbows high, and let the, let the dumbbell go below where the elbow is. So encouraging that position that a lot of golfers with any kind of shoulder restriction struggle to get into. And then the same this way, you may not quite achieve 90 degrees in that position. The shoulder normally only goes to about 80. Beyond that, we have to let the shoulder blades go rather than just the, the shoulder joint, the glenohumeral joint. So rotating back and forth. Now the other benefit of being on the foam roller here is that I can pay close attention to my spinal position. A lot of people when they let the dumbbells go back will arch the back and try and get extension from the spine rather than allowing external rotation of the shoulder. So you want to be maintaining a relatively flat or neutral spine on the roller or on the bench and work in that position. So females, again, we're, we're gonna aim for probably anywhere between two and four kilograms. And males, again, we could probably go maybe as high as eight kilo, but starting quite low. So building up the strength through your strength and the range of motion of your shoulders will allow you to get into good positions and allow for a good swing plane.